don't try to call me. I'm gonna be reading. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle and I talk books. And today we are talking about the books that I'm gonna be reading for the month of August. And I can't believe I'm saying that already because I feel like I just finished July. I feel like we were just doing this video about July. But here we are, tomorrow is August 1st. I will get this video out by then. And I am so excited to talk about, I get very, excited to talk about the coming month and just making the list made me so excited it's it's not normal <laughs> just so you know normal people do not think this way but i look ahead at books and like oh my god look what i get to read this month that's the way i think you will be looking at these books up on the screen and there are 10 of them 10 books i'm going to be reading for sure in the month of august there will be more there's gonna there's always more but these 10 are for sure here we go up on your screen number one Oh my gosh, guys, how much are you looking forward to reading Midnight Sun by Stephanie Meyer? Edward Story. Ah, uh, it makes me want to go watch all the Twilight movies this weekend because I'm going to be starting this book next week and I am so excited about it. But 672 pages. When Stephanie writes a book, she is not kidding, but I... I know it's gonna be awesome and I can't wait. And this is listed under YA. And then I was like, you know what? I think all the Twilight books were listed under YA and we just weren't aware they were YA because we don't care. We love YA books. Starting the month off with that book and I can't wait. Number two is a thriller, The Silent Wife by Karen Slaughter. This will be the first book of hers that I'm gonna read. And another, it's 496 pages comes out August 4th, so does Midnight Sun, by the way. I am gonna be doing a lot of reading next week. Don't try to call me, I'm gonna be reading. These people are not kidding when they write books and I can't wait. I've heard so many good things about Karen Slaughter books, so I am really looking forward to that one. Number three, The Lions of Fifth Avenue by Fiona Davis, I love her. I have read every single one of her books every single one of her books. They are so good. All her books are about New York City and different landmarks in New York City. It's such an amazing concept. I learned so much about the history of New York City. I love Fiona, she's amazing. So this one, like I said, about the New York Public Library, can't wait, 368 pages, also comes out August 4th. Next one, number four, an unfinished story by Boo Walker. And I looked him up. And I'm like, whoa, I never read any of his books. I can't believe it. 335 pages also comes out August 4th. Everybody's saying it's amazing. So I'm like, I'm in. I want to read one of his books. Number five, The Comeback by Ella Berman. 384 pages. This is a debut novel, which I always get excited about a debut novel because you don't know. And I have read so many recently that have been, I keep looking and I'm like, seriously, this is their debut novel? Are you sure? And I'm like, it is their debut. That, that's how amazing these writers are. So I am really looking forward to that one. Number six, The House at Mermaid's Cove by Lindsay Jane Ashford. I have never read any of her books. This is also historical fiction, comes out a lot August 11th, 285 pages. Number seven, The Last to Know by Joe Furness. This one also comes out August 11th and this is a thriller. And I will be very excited to read this. <laughs> After all these other ones, I'm gonna be like, yes, give me a thriller. 317 pages, which is the perfect amount of pages. That's why I always talk pages, because I really think they matter. And they do matter to the publishers. They pay attention to this. And so do I when I'm picking out books. And even though we know Midnight Sun is, you know, almost 700 pages, we're, we're gonna be really happy about it. Number eight by Danielle Steele Royal. Can't wait for this one. I think I went a month without, did I go? Um, yes, I think her last one was in June. So I am very excited, 288 pages. Danielle Steele, in, you're out. You're in, you're out. It's, it's so simple. You get an amazing story. You can't wait till she writes another one. And I, that's what we love about her. 
women's fiction, of course. Then one memoir this month, which I am so excited about because any of you have watched The Young and the Restless over the years, and yes, I did uh, for a long time, by the way. Nikki Melody Thomas Scott is coming out with a memoir, and it's all about The Young and Restless. I, I can't wait. It doesn't come out till August 18th, and I am gonna be so excited by then. I'm gonna be like, yes, I wanna read. I loved her, loved Nikki. I grew up in Emmaus, Pennsylvania, and I worked in Allentown, Pennsylvania for my first jobs. And, well, for my first job. And um, I would come home, which was like a 15, 20 minute, 15 minute drive. Had an hour, 15 minutes. The Young and Restless started at 12.30. I would leave at 12.15, get there by 12.30, but I'd have to get back by 1.15, so I only got to see half of it, and I'd have to leave at one, and I still did it. Crazy, that's, that's how much I was into The Young and Restless, so. And those were the days, you couldn't really tape back then, <laughs> in the 80s, I couldn't tape it. So I, I, was, I had to do it, and luckily, the storyline moved slow enough that I didn't miss that much. The last book, number 10 for the month, I am ending on historical fiction with The Exiles by Christina Baker Klein, and we know her. Her book comes out August 25th, 384 pages, and did you read Orphan Train? Like everybody else, I'm so happy to read another book by her. Can't wait, I, you know what, I don't even know what it's about. I didn't even write down what it's about because I don't even care. That's how I, I'm like, it doesn't matter. She writes a book. I'm going to read it. doesn't matter what it's about. Don't even have to look it up. I love when I don't have to do that. When I know the author so well that I don't have to look up what the book's about. Like Danielle Steele, do I look up what her books are about? Never. Doesn't matter. I'm like, I'm going to read it. So to me, it's like, doesn't matter what it's about. I'm going to read it. I'm in. So <laughs> that's just how it is. And I'm getting more and more and more of those authors as I get to know them. So it's really fun for me. But I am reading a couple of authors that I don't know this month. That makes me very excited. There we go. Let me know which ones are you looking forward to? Which ones are you going to read? I want to know and I will be doing reviews all month long on these books and let you know what I think. That's it. I will link Amazon below of each one of these books. If you haven't already liked this video, please like it. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'm doing at least two or three videos every week, putting them out as fast as I can. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Have an amazing weekend. Until my next 